Hey guys, it's Jake, aka Cryogen, and today I've got a nice surprise for you. If you've ever wanted to make some sick bass lines or some really nice pretty melodies, but maybe you don't want to use the same plugin that everybody else is using, or you can't afford those new greatest plugins that come out all the time, check this one out. I have a free plugin that makes amazing bass sounds, amazing any sound that you could possibly want, and like I said, it's free. So if you go on any forum today and look for the best plugin out there, the best VST, whatever you want to call it, chances are you're going to see Serum named, maybe Massive, but you won't necessarily hear about a company called Tal. Um, they have some phenomenal free plugins. One of their plugins that I absolutely love is called the You Know 62. I was blown away the first time I opened this thing up. Uh, let's take a look at it here. It's super simple. There's like six things you can do to it, but it sounds amazing. This is the initialized patch. I haven't touched anything to it. All I did was add it to the, the sound and check this out. I mean, that sounds pretty thick and full just for a bass, just for a default settings on a free plugin. I don't know how you could beat that. Let's check out some of the higher notes here. Pretty standard saw wave. Uh, so now let's get into some of the settings here and make this stuff sound really cool. All right, so if you're looking for some nice vintage sounding synths, like some chords and almost like that organ type sound, this chorus is really cool. I mean, come on, how do you beat that? That's a free plugin. As you get down in the lower octaves, this is where this thing shines. I, like, this is sending chills down my spine right now. This chorus with this bass. I'm pushing one note. That sounds huge. This is phenomenal just by itself. But let's say you wanted to get something a little different. Let's turn off the chorus and go down here to the filter area. By default, it has an envelope set to mess with the frequency. So as you hold a note, the envelope is going to take effect, which is over here, and adjust the frequency for you. So some of the other nice things this thing has is a sub oscillator and a noise oscillator. Uh, so if you wanted to add some dirt to your, your sounds. Adds a nice texture there. Uh, you can change the waveform a little bit, add some square to your saw. Now we're just getting absolutely huge sounds, even more. So this synth really has a very vintage feel to it and it kind of emulates the old hardware synths. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with here. Uh, we'll make a couple different sounds, add some drums and see what we can come up with. All right, so I decided to use three channels of this, one to make a bass line, one to make some chords, and one to make a nice melody slash lead, whatever. And uh, here's what we got. Got pretty funky. Got a really nice groove to it. So let's take a look at what I got here. Uh, here's my drums. I just have some kick, clap, and hi-hats. And then for the bass line, I have this thing going on. Let's take a look. So looking at the synth itself, pretty straightforward. I just have the saw wave and the sub all the way up. A um, little bit of a filter coming down, but you don't really hear that because the envelope is turned way down. So pretty much not affecting it. 
Uh, other than that, it's pretty much all standard. Uh, so let's move on to the chords. Here's what I have going on here. That's it. Super simple, but it sounds good. So if we check that out, um, again, I've added both choruses here because it sounds so freaking good. Then over here, I've uh, again, saw we've in the sub. I left those alone. Um, but what I've done this time is change the filter. And so the envelope is all the way up. The frequency is down here, so it's going to drop it very quickly because of the, the decay. So you can hear the, the, the cutoff just dropping really quickly. So that's pretty cool. And in the end, that's what we got. And lastly, we have the lead slash melody. It looks a little bit chaotic. Um, that's because I've got the, the pattern doubled up, two different octaves, it makes it sound a lot better, a lot more full. So here's what this one sounds like. So in here, I've again got both choruses going. Um, this time I added some LFO. I moved the rate a little bit and brought up the LFO will affect the oscillator here. Um, just a little bit, it's not affecting it too much. If you bring that up all the way, it just sounds crazy uh, like this. So I didn't want alien spaceships taken off, so I left it down kind of low. Um, this time I turned off the saw wave and added the square wave and turned up the high pass filter to get rid of some of the lows so that they didn't clash with the baseline too much. And other than that, pretty much left alone this other stuff. Um, the filter and the envelope are not really doing a whole lot. So that's what I did. So hopefully you guys can see just how powerful this thing is. It's epic and it's a free download. I don't understand how something so simple and free can sound so good. So if you like this video, leave a like down below. Leave a comment letting me know if you've ever tried this before or if you've ever heard of Tal and their plugins. Um, and make sure you subscribe to see more stuff like this. I'll be showing off some cool plugins again in the future and doing some nice challenge videos um, where I make a song with only one plugin, kind of like this, but I'll do drums as well. I'll take some recordings of things around me and make a song from that. And any other su suggestions you guys have, leave them in the comments. Until then, I'll see you next time.